Talk about the, 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 the relationship between pleasure and reward. What's the difference there? Like when we're seeking pleasure versus we're seeking reward. So this is a really useful tool to get out of addiction, by the way. Right? So addiction is there's, a, there's something that causes me pleasure and I need it because I can't get satisfied. And like we said earlier, I structure my day around it. It's very frustrating. If I don't have, it could be going to the gym. If I don't go to the gym, I am very frustrated. I, I, I feel it right because of the way my brain works. So now remember that your brain only needs one of these two. You don't need both. So when we when we sit down with uh, somebody and say our, one of our coaching pro programs, for example, we're working like with an athlete or an executive, we'll say, here's your profile. Here's all of what's going on in your brain. And we understand here's the things you're trying to resolve. There's no switch we're going to flip. We're going to teach you how to start to experience micro re rewards. And then eventually you're going to get so much satisfaction from that that you don't need the pleasure anymore. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the easiest way to contextualize this is, do you know Joe Polish? Yes. Uh, so, so I, so Genius Network. He runs this amazing group called Genius Network. And I, I went to one of his events, and he got on stage, and he said something that just explains this whole thing. He said that there's no food that tastes as good as the way I feel, right? Because somebody asked him about like how does he maintain? You see him on stage. He's like a broomstick, right? And he's in perfect shape. So it's like he says, there's no food that tastes as good as the way I feel because he used to overeat. He used to be an addict, by the way. Right? He used to be an addict. So what happened is he replaced the tasty food and the pleasure he was getting from what he couldn't say no to with, I don't eat carbs anymore. I don't drink sugary drinks anymore. I'm adding more fiber. I, I have more protein. I take the sauce off my protein. I'm removing calories. Continually adding more reward. I eat less hours for the day. I only eat one meal per day. Continually pushing the limits on the reward. And you don't need the pleasure anymore because you're getting the dopamine hit. Right. So if you're stuck in this place where I need this thing, I can't get a, the, the ability to say no once and satisfy your brain in the, the very purposeful today, I'm going to say no. Mm -hmm. And then you actually said no and you got a sense of reward and to do that again and to do that again with little things. You know, I'm turning my laptop off at 9 p.m. Uh, whatever those things are, that sense of training your brain to get its dopamine hit from reward as opposed to pleasure it's more satisfying than pleasure in the long run. Yes. So this is where, I mean, this is where the idea of like, like when the morning, when the day kind of comes from, right? You know, you hear so many coaches, like it's a big part of our program. Like, what does your first 15 minutes a day look like? Like, are you getting up at the time the alarm goes off? Like, acknowledge yourself for not hitting snooze. Are you making your bed, acknowledging yourself for the completion of the first task? Do you have a morning routine, gratitude, prayer, journaling, maybe ice bath? And it's like, it's not doing the things, it's having the plan, doing them, and then acknowledging that you're actually completing the task that you set out. That gives you the rewards. And at the end of the day, when you're kind Kind of fatigued, willpower down a little bit, and you're like, I haven't done anything today. You begin to want to seek out some of these pleasure-seeking things, pornography, junk food, so forth and so forth.